So these are multi-step problems from ratios and proportions to, which are the tables, equations, story problems, and um, graphs. So uh, look at the lines on the grid. Which line represents a proportional relationship? So to be considered proportional, you have to go through the origin, which is 0, 0, and be a straight line. Doesn't matter which way your straight line goes, but it needs to go through the origin. So the only one that's going through the origin is B, and B is a straight line. So your answer has to be B. Albert wants to buy some pens. He's comparing four different packs of pens, um, the number of pens in each pack, and the cost of the pack is shown in the table below, which two packs have the same cost per pen. So that means for one pen. So I'm going to open up my calculator. So remember, you're dividing. So you're taking your cost and you're dividing it by the pens. So 480 divided by 4 is going to give me $1.20 per pen. Remember, it's money, so you have to have two places behind the decimal. 880 divided by 11. That's 80 cents per pen. 360 divided by 4. 90 cents per pen. 1080 divided by 9. $1.20. So it would be pack 1 and pack 4. All right, for this one, they want to know the graph. Um, the graph below shows the amount of sugar required to make different sized batches of cookies. Which statement is true about the graph of the line? The point three two lies on the graph and indicates that 24, co 24 cookies can be made um, with three cups of sugar. So three two. So three two means I go over one, two, three. Go up two. Well, that's not on the line. The point four six lies on the line. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is on the line, and it indicates 48 cookies can be made from six cups of sugar. Well, that's not true because the four represents the sugar, not, um, not the six. So B is out. C says two three is on the graph. So one, two, one, two, three, that's true. And it says that 36 cookies can be made with two cups of sugar. Well, yes, two cups of sugar. So the two represents the X, the three represents the Y, and that's dozen cookies. Three times 12 is 36, so I think it's C, but I'm gonna check the last one just to make sure. 0.64 lies on the graph. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Well, it's not on the line, so it's not there. Which situation is the um, amount earned determined by a proportional relationship? So that means it goes up at the same rate. An editor charges, charged her clients $1.25 per page for editing. So every page is $1.25. That sounds promising. A tour guide at a museum was paid $1,500 for the entire year. So it doesn't matter how many tours he does or she does, he gets he or she gets paid one thousand five hundred dollars. So that's out. A dog walker charged her clients a ten dollar flat rate monthly fee plus five dollars per walk. Right there tells me it's not proportional because remember we talked about proportional relationships being multiplication or division. You can't have addition in there. A songwriter is paid a different amount for each song she wrote. 
So that means that there's no constant of proportionality. So I was right, it is A. The distances traveled by car A and car B after X hours are represented in the graph and in the table. Which statement is true? So I have to find the amount for one. So I have to find a point on the graph where it's in the crosshair, where it's right there in the corner. So that's gonna be X, Y. So it's gonna be five and 200. I want to find for one, I get 40. So this car goes 40 miles in one hour. This one, well, I want to find for one. So I'm going to divide by three. This one goes 80 miles in one hour. So the the speed of car A is twice the speed of car B. No, because car A is half the speed of car B. Car B is twice the speed of car A. Yes, that's true. So it's 2.4 times, no. 2.4 times, no. So because 40 times two would be 80. So it's twice the speed. So B is faster, so it's twice the speed of car A. Mario's uh, speed while riding his bike is shown in the graph. Amanda's speed on her bike is shown here. Which statement is true? So I have to find for one. So if I simplify my fraction, so it's nine miles in one hour. And this is one hour and that would be eight miles. So this is Mario and this is Amanda. So this is Mario, Amanda. So Mario's speed and Amanda's speed are equivalent. No, they're not equal to each other. Mario's speed is faster than Amanda's. No, because she's going nine miles, he's only going eight. Amanda's speed is one mile per hour faster than Mario's. I think that's right. Amanda's speed is 10 miles per hour faster than Mario's. Nope. Let's see. Okay, the graph below shows the distance two cars from the same starting, um, starting point. The speed of the blue car is 30 miles per hour. So in one hour, he's gone 30 miles. So based on the graph, what's the best estimate for the red car? Well, it can't be less because the red car is definitely going faster. It can't be twice because there aren't two blocks between. So I'm stuck between 35 and 45. Well, these lines are super close together. So I'm going with B because I don't think it's that much faster. The graph below shows how the number of pages um, Jeff reads is related to the number of hours he spends reading. If Jeff continues to read at the same rate as shown in the graph, how many hours would it take him to read 90 pages? Well, let's pull a point off the graph. So that's 120. So X is the time. And 20 is the pages. And I get that from, oops, from here and here. Okay, so that's 120. So they're saying 90 pages. So I have to find how long it's going to take for one page so I can find 90. So I'm going to divide by 20. 0 0.05 and then I'm going to multiply by 90. So point zero five times 90, 4.5. 
So it's going to take him 4.5 hours to read 90 pages. Seems like a really long time. Hi, Abigail and Elizabeth babysit in their neighborhoods. The table shows how many, how much Abigail earned for three different jobs. Elizabeth charges five twenty-five per hour to babysit. Abigail and Elizabeth each babysit for eight hours. Which statement is correct? So I have to figure out what it is per hour. So I'm going to add a row. I'm going to find for one. So I'm going to divide by three point five. So I'm going to divide this side by 3.5. So 1575 divided by 3.5. I get $4.50. So Elizabeth charges $5.25 an hour. So that means that... Elizabeth earns 75 more cents an hour, but they're asking about eight hours, right? So I have to do 75 cents times the eight hours and I get $6. So Elizabeth would make $6 more than Abigail in if she babysat for eight hours because she gets 75 cents more each hour. Megan and Abigail um, time themselves running Megan recorded the number of steps in this table. Um, Abigail used a graph. So I need to figure out for one. So how many um, steps does she take in one second? So let's divide by 18. So I'm going to divide this by 18. So 45 divided by 18 is 2.5. So she takes 2.5 steps in one second. So I need to figure out the same thing for the graph. So I'm going to find a point that's in the crosshair. So it's right there. So I get 20 seconds, 60 steps. Twenty seconds, sixty steps. I want to figure out for one second, so I'm going to divide by twenty. I get three steps. So this one's Abigail and this one's Megan. So Abigail had a greater running rate by half a step per second. So I know Abigail has a greater rate, so I know it's either going to be A or C. Um, and I know that it's three steps or two and a half steps. So that means it has to be A. All right, the graph below was used to calculate John's typing speed. James types two times as fast as John, which equation represents the number of words James types in T minutes. So words and time, right? So I know that 250. So in two minutes, he types 50 words. So that means in one minute, he types 25 words, right? So I know that 25 times T is going to give me W. And that's John's speed. But I want to find James's speed, who's twice as fast. So if he's twice as fast, he can type 50 words in a minute. So it's B. John's mom compares the prices of apples at two different stores. So I have to find for one apple, divide by 12. Because it's a proportional relationship, it doesn't matter which row I pick. So 660 divided by 12, I get 55 cents an apple. All right, then it says I've got to figure out 
gills. So two apples cost 84 cents. So I wanna figure out one apple. So I'm gonna divide by two. So 84 cents divided by two is 42 cents. So it says this one is That's Gales. And this one's Joe's. Okay, so Gales charges more, right? So I know I can eliminate these two. And 55 minus 42 is gonna give me 13 more cents an apple. All right, Alice and Laura are in a book club. Alice reads 50 pages in two days. The graph shows the number of pages Laura read after a certain number of days. So Laura read 50 pages in one day. Um, Alice reads 50 pages in two days. So Alice reads half as many pages per day as Laura. Well, this that's Alice and this is Laura, right? So Alice reads half as many. So it takes her two days to read the number of pages that it took Laura. So I think it's A. Alice reads twice as many pages. Nope, because it takes her two days. If I did it in a table and I did pages and days, I've got 50 in two. So in one day, it'd be 25. So Laura reads five times as many pages a day as Alice. Well, no, because 25 times 5 would be um, 125, so that's not true. Alice and Laura read the same number of pages. No, because it takes her two days to read as many as the other one did. Tristan and Colby time themselves solving math problems. Colby's results are shown in the table, so we have to find for one minute. So I'm going to divide by 50. Divide by 50, so 75 divided by 50 is 1.5. So he can solve um, one, one and a half problems in one minute. So then I've got five minutes and problems. So five minutes, he solved 10 problems. So in one minute, he can solve two problems. All right, so this is, oops, sorry guys. This is Tristan, and this is Colby. So Colby is faster. So who had the greater rate of change and by how much? So Colby by half a math problem. Because he does half a math problem in one minute and Tristan does um, two math problems in one minute. If you have any other questions or need me to explain it in a different way, just let me know.